Still commanding attention after 65 million years. Dinosaurs like this 9 meter long Alborosaurus or this giant herbivore used to dominate the planet. But they were doomed to disappear, most likely wiped out by the effects of a catastrophic meteorite strike. One of the big five crises of biodiversity led to the disappearance of 75% of animal and plant species that were living then on the planet. But the crisis allowed one group, mammals, to really explode. Mammals would never have experienced such rapid development without the mass extinction, without the mass extinction that occurred. Mammals first appeared 220 million years ago, when dinosaurs still roamed the Earth. The earliest ones were small, about the size of rodents, which can make studying them a painstaking task. Most mammal remains we discover are small teeth, or sometimes the edge of a jaw. And sometimes we have to wash and filter a ton of sediment just to get one tooth. That's how extremely rare they are. Few discoveries are as special as this one. At 64 million years old, it's the oldest mammal skeleton yet discovered. From this point, this species would blossom in number and variety. 200,000 years ago, man's ancestors appeared. A speck on the geographical timeline, but enough for the species to make its mark. The current biodiversity crisis is taking place much faster because of humans. Human beings are world champions in transforming and creating ecological niches all around the world really quickly. The problem is that species and life don't have time to adapt to this accelerated pace. It's a man's world now, but the history of dinosaurs suggests its dominance may not last forever. The exhibition explores which species could be waiting in its shadows. One theory is birds, who some scientists believe are the only surviving creatures from the dinosaur family.